This video will walk you through how to create a course in My Language Labs. To create a course, first, you will need to make sure that you have instructor access to the My Language Labs program. To request instructor access, you can contact your Pearson representative or from www.mylanguagelabs.com, you can click on Educator and follow the prompts. If you already have access, please sign into your account at www.mylanguagelabs.com and click sign in. Enter your username and password and choose sign in. You'll be brought to your Pearson portal page called My Courses and Test Bank. From the My Courses and Test Banks page, click on Create a Course. From here, you may choose to search by textbook or browse the catalog by discipline. To quickly search by textbook, type in the name of the textbook you are using. Note you may also search by ISBN or author. Let's type in a popular Spanish title called Arriba. Then click Next at the bottom of the page to complete the search. To browse by discipline, from the drop-down options list, simply scroll through the list to find your target language. Let's choose Spanish and click Next. Both of these options will provide you with all the content and course materials that correlate to your textbook, including the complete e-text when available. Once you find your text, you are going to have two options for every title we have available inside our My Language Labs catalog. You will see Select Course and Select Program. Both of these options will provide you with all the content and course materials that correlate to your textbook, including the complete e-text when available. Please note, if you are an instructor or a coordinator of a language program managing multiple sections of the same textbook, and you would like to set up a template, aka master course, from which to create additional sections, choose Select Program. This option offers you program administration ability where you can initially design your template by assigning activities and establishing your settings and preferences in your template prior to creating the sections. Selecting this option will create a program template that will appear upon login on the Courses and Test Banks page where you can click on the given link to access your template and any created sections. You can have other instructors TAs, GAs, and adjuncts enroll into the sections you create and manage. They can be enrolled as an instructor or teaching assistant status in the appropriate course section. We have a separate video to walk you through how to use Select Program. In this particular video, however, we are going to walk through how to, to select course. This option is mainly for otherwise autonomous instructors teaching one or two individual courses. Just like the select program option, the select course, you can customize settings and preferences as well as create and assign activities. When you choose select course, make sure you have the correct edition number and title. Type in the name of your course that your students will easily recognize from your syllabus or as it is labeled by your institution. For instance, if this is a Spanish course, you could say Spanish 101, section 003. You could also include more detailed information about your course, such as campus, time of class, term, book title, etc., as well as write a brief description. This description would also be seen by your students. Notice the start date is always the first day of creation of your course and the default end date is set for one year forward. Your students may enroll in your course any moment after the date you have set here as your start date. As long as you give them the course ID number which will be generated during this course creation process. Students will not be able to access your course after the end date set or the default end date. Students will be able to enroll in the course after the start date that you set. These start and end dates can be adjusted at any time throughout the semester. When you, fi when you finish, click Finish, and you'll be brought back to your My Courses and Test Banks page. Note your individual course or courses will appear upon login on the Courses and Test Bank page. 
Here you'll see a notice that your course is being prepared and will be available soon. At this point, you have done everything you need to do and you can log out and log back in in a few minutes and your course should be there. Or you can try refreshing the page until your course loads. Also, notice that you are given a specific course ID number that is located beneath the name of your course. After your students have registered or set up their Pearson account and purchased their My Language Labs access, they will be required to have this course ID number in order to enroll in your specific course. Please provide your course ID number to your students on their syllabus via email, an announcement in your institution's learning management system, such as Blackboard or WebCT, etc. Once your course is available, you will be able to edit any of your course information, including the name and start and end dates, by hovering your mouse over the name of the course and choosing the options arrow and selecting edit course info. The options allow you to change the name and dates of your course and click update. Notice you also have the ability to copy this course as instructor course. When you copy as instructor course, all the assignments, settings, preferences, customizations, and document uploads, etc., will transfer to your new copy. This course copy function is very helpful when you're teaching one or more sections of the same course, or at the end of the semester, if you're teaching the same course next semester, you can copy and save a lot of your settings. You can rename the copied course, and after copying the course, it will generate a specific course ID number for this new course. You can also adjust any start and end dates as well for the copied course, then click Copy. Please note that if you want to make any changes after copying a course, you'll need to make them in each course independently. The original course and the copy course are now completely separate from one another. If you are teaching the same course and a multiple section of it this semester, make all of your assignments in the section first and then copy so that your assignments will copy over to your current semester. If you are teaching the same course the following semester or term, consider copying your course at the end of the term. When you copy your course at the end of the semester, all previous due dates are removed, but the assignments remain marked in the course and can be easily moved to new dates. This function allows you to know which activities you had previously assigned and makes for a speedy way to shift your preferred assignments to the new semester. All settings, changes, content you have created, materials that are uploaded, and any gradebook settings are saved so you can quickly and efficiently transition to the next semester. Please consider viewing the separate video which will walk you through in greater detail how to copy a course. This concludes how to create a course inside your My Language Lab.